Hey, today I want to talk about crash log files in Maya. Sometimes when your project totally crashes, you might jump back into Maya and it doesn't show you the panel here on the side that says crash files. Um, sometimes it will and it'll be right here. It'll pop up on the left side of the screen and it'll have the name of your recovery file and you can click on it and get back into your file. If it doesn't show up like that and Maya did create a crash file on a Windows machine, you can just hit Windows button R and it'll bring up this run command. And then you just type in percent temp percent and hit okay. And it brings you to the temp folder on your computer. And here you're just looking for a Maya file. And I like to organize it by the date. So it should show up on top if your file just crashed. Mine did a couple days ago. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So scrolling down, there it is. There's one, that's a crash file, recovery file. And if I scroll down more, there's another one. So you can notice here that both of these have my username. This is my computer username. So if I go to PC, Windows, Users, then it puts, that's my username on my computer, right? So go back here to Windows R temp. So on this page, if you know what your username is, then you can just hit Control F to search in this box and type in your username. So mine is Spence. And it brought up the two Maya files because they're all gonna start out with my computer username. That's how it creates these files in the first place. So now if I just click on one, let's pick this one. It's gonna open it up. And there we go. So file is still usable, right? So sometimes Maya doesn't create a crash file for you, but if they do, then that's where it's gonna be in that temp folder. So I hope that helps and I hope you're able to recover your files and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.